because it, it like yeah. speeds Alzheimer's, on what they forget to tell you, episode 59? No, 60. 60? Okay, 60. Hold on, stop it. No, it's fine, it's fine. Let's just go because we don't have time. Stop it. I don't have time. Come on. We don't have time, so it's fine. It's already okay. We're not fooling anyone. It's not. We're not in Universal Studios Shh, or yeah. Sony Production. Come on, man. Shh, shh. It's you can't go well. The gig secrets. is up. The gig is up. Man, mm-hmm. I can't believe you, man. Whatever. <sighs> that was surround sound. Okay, so it is Alzheimer's. What they forget to tell you, episode sixty. It's mm-hmm. sixty. Hi, Steve. It, 60. Six zero. Are you sure? I'm not sure. You do this every week, so I am now planting the seed. It is 60. Six zero. 60. Okay. Okay, so um, we're doing a quick one, and we say that every week, but really we are, because um, we're just going to finish off once and for all this Dan Gasby and B. Smith. Um, controversial topic Uh, and I had a chance to watch some of the other things on the other side of it so to sum summarize we were talking about the controversial topic about Dan Gadsby and B Smith who um, are married and B Smith developed Alzheimer's five years ago early onset and um, they her husband and her uh well i from what i gather b smith was the money maker yes she she created an empire she created the empire she had um she was a one of the first black models that appeared on um some sort of famous magazine i can't remember the exact one she had her own um she had many restaurants many restaurants she had her own cook show show. or something Yeah, yeah her own talk show she she did really well but yeah so and then they wrote a book her and her husband Dan wrote a book about her having Alzheimer's and before the, we forget I think it was called so right so we were talking basically that was just to summarize so we were talking about um, recently uh, he went on the view because he's been getting a lot of bad uh, publicity considering he has he's moved in a girlfriend's into their marital not their marital home but their home and the girlfriend apparently takes helps take care of b smith as the caregiver because he said that he will take care of b smith so i hadn't seen i had only seen that um episode of him explaining himself about how him and b smith spoke about it and he's not doing anything uh, against her wishes and so knowing what I know about the disease, um, I was sort of sympathetic towards him because I I see how isolating and how um, you know lonely you can get dealing with this disease. It's very 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 challenging because again it's a brain disorder, and um, so I was I, I like optically yeah it didn't look good but I could kind of be empathetic towards why he would choose that okay so of course (laughs) Wendy's take was no no because she had seen the other side of it now she went deep in and she saw all she went and looked up all of the the uh, controversial information on the girlfriend and um this whole scenario so you were like no I said no because of the impression that B gave when she was in her right mind. It was not matching what the husband said okay, what did after she, say? she lost her mind. Okay, what did she say? So he, his impression that he gave the entire world was it was a mutual understanding that B had made it clear to him that it was she had given him consent to move on and move, you know, move this woman in and you know the way that he made it sound was no we both we were both agreeing upon this and be's okay with this and all of this stuff that was his impression he gave out to the world when you actually research this and you click on certain um clips of b talking when she before she lost her mind and 
you know, little excerpts from the book and everything else, that's, it gives a whole different story. So she's, like I said last week, like every other woman had the same type of stance where it was like, yeah, no, uh, I don't think I would be okay with uh, another woman coming into my home and, you know, so she said that. Well, there was one clip, like I said, okay. where that she was getting interviewed and the interviewer asked her, mm -hmm. um, so what do you think about him, moving you know, on. moving on or moving help inside the house? And she was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like she, her reaction was like, eh, 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 put on brakes. Let's not talk about that. Like you could visually see that she was uncomfortable about that. So that didn't really match his description of, oh no, it was mutual and she's okay with this. And, you know, we, we talked about this and she's cool. Because even when he was talking about that and said that, that there was red flags going up for me. I'm like, as much as, like I said last week and the week before, I would want my, my significant other to move on and be happy. As a woman, you're still not going to be like, absolutely, yeah, move everybody in, yeah, no problems here. Like, you're still going to feel like it's not something you really want to imagine or you, you really want to think about or you really want to see that happen or come into fruition. I don't care what any woman tells me otherwise I know for myself that deep down or not so deep down that's how we feel who wants to see their other their their husband or their wife move somebody in and carry on a complete relationship in front of their face like I, I don't know right and on the other spectrum the disease like right now she's I don't think she's aware of that happening right like she's not coherent on this is happening and there's another woman because I don't even think she understands the relationship between her and her husband okay and like I said last week that's fine and I get it however don't do it in the house okay so last time again I, I reserved my opinion because I know the disease firsthand so I'm looking at it as like trying to be extremely um, uh, outside objective view of, okay, you know, it's very challenging. It must be heartbreaking for him. I understand he, it's his vows and he wants to keep his vows. Okay. So, but then there's a flip side to this where, um, the girlfriend that like, there's, there's information on the girlfriend that she might be an opportunist because, you know, he, I'm sure it's a, a multi-million dollar empire that she built and I now I have an opinion now so I'm not slighting him for having a relationship because I think for him it, if it's helping him um, be a better caregiver to his wife I'm all for it however I do I've been reading a little bit more and I do agree that it should not be in the home and he should not if he, you know, if his big thing was, you know, he didn't want the controversy that it's creating and the backlash and the negative press, he should not have, like, sold the story to the press. Like, he, I think, you know, if you if you want to do something, you do it in dis the like discreetly. Of your own home. Yeah, and discreetly, and you make it, you make it, you know, I guess as classy as you can. Right, Cause, especially you know, when you're dealing with a public figure. Yeah, because morally, it's it's obviously frowned upon. Obviously, you know, and so there's no polygamy in that state. So you know, I think maybe perhaps he should have probably really thought in retrospect how this people are gonna view it. it. Optically, it looks bad. It really looks bad. I more morally, it looks bad, but I like you know emotionally, and I can completely be empathetic towards him i As just don't I. think he should especially considering she made her disease public so they were already a public figure they were two public figures going into this disease together and to kind of like i kind of you're kind of like smearing it now like you're making it kind of messy now and i think if he really did need that and they you know these two people fell in love on the side i don't think they should make it like a threesome, you know, like where, and I, I'm using the term just because there's three people, not the, <laughs> the term, you know, you know what I mean? So anyways, I just don't think he should have just done it that way. If, especially 
considering he's upset about the negative press. Like you can't have it both ways. You can't have the public embracing this thing when you know t it's not the norm. And see, there's a flip side of it too, because okay, if you know anything about the disease, there are situations where um, people don't know, they forget the relationship, right? So uh, people, let's say in a nursing home, will suddenly have relationships with people in the nursing home and forget that they're married. And so that's heartbreaking on the other end. Like a, a spouse has to understand like, okay, well, they don't know what they're doing because they're more like, they don't know either what they're doing, but that happens too. So there's two, like, it's so intricate with this disease that it's really, there's no, there's no right or wrong answer. And, you know, he says that too. There's like a lot of articles now of nobody's talking about relationships and Alzheimer's because it's, it's, it's new and Alzheimer's like, you know, mental illness, it's only now we're talking about it and now it's on the forefront and now it's, you know, it's not, there's no shame in it and it's, nobody wants to be stigmatized by it, but Alzheimer's still is stigmatized. So we need to, I guess, open up, maybe this is, this will be an open forum, you know, unfortunately it's a public forum, but maybe this is time we need to start talking about what do you do when you're in a relationship with a person with Alzheimer's because the sickness and health thing, as much as I understand the concept, the vows, it's different with, it's a brain injury. It's different. That's just my opinion. Okay. So it sounds like we're pretty much on the yeah, same like page. Yeah, I just, I don't agree with, with how he did it. I, I don't disagree with what he's doing if that's what he needs. I just don't think he should, I don't think it should be like on TV. It should be discreet because you know, you're still married yep. regardless. Yep. You're still married yep. and you're openly having this relationship. And so now you have to, to deal, you, you put it out there. So you have to deal with what's the backlash and you can't be upset about it. Agreed. That's my opinion. Thank you for that. Okay. And that's it. Like I'm really not bringing this up again. Unless Dan calls me specifically and he wants to have a debate. We can do that, but I am not talking about this again. This topic is talked out. All right. Well, I was thinking about this other topic that has nothing to do with Alzheimer's today, so maybe that'll be another thing that we can do on a different episode, but this whole uh, Jesse Smollett. Oh, gosh. Okay, yeah. well, anyways, that wraps up today's yeah. talk. <laughs> That's or the newest thing. So short. last week it was the Alzheimer's thing with this guy. This week it's we'll this Jesse thing. We'll talk about it next week. We'll yeah. talk about it next week. Because so I haven't, I've heard, again, there's buzzing. There's some craziness going on around I us, haven't man. even read one article about it. But I, I know it was fake. It was staged. So apparently. Uh, let, again, let's go. Let's let's talk about it when everything kind of comes out because I'm still very confused about the situation and I I am not informed enough to really like verbalize how I feel because I'm just confused and very shocked about whatever it is that I've heard so far. So let's use that. Maybe next week we can talk about it when more information has come out and we've, you know, we've kind of figured out where everything is at. But yeah, just some crazy madness going on around the and world. I'm still deciding if I'm going to Scotland. You're going. So we'll see. Maybe the next week I'll, I'll know for sure. Okay, Dr. Karen. From your mouth to God's ears. We're going to go. Okay. It's late. Thanks for listening. Yes. Uh, chime in. Let us know, you know, if you got any comments or constructive criticism, you know, hair clips and such. Not so much. You want to dive into that? No, because I... Okay, just quickly. Last, I may need a hair clip or two last, myself. I put these things Silly on man. YouTube um. and, you know, it's on Facebook, obviously. And, you know, I don't mind. I am very open to anybody who has something to say or, you know. And typically we get pretty good comments. Listen, don't ask me to comment because you know my mouth no, has no well, brains. No, we can talk about it. I don't Quickly. business. Like, listen to me. If it's not constructive, if it's not inspiring, motivating, or or helping to to build somebody up, if it's meant to tear down or criticize or be negative, 
ain't nobody got time for that especially me so I'm not you're not gonna find me in the comments trolling other people and you know answering ridiculous comments and and having time out of my or taking time out of my day to stop and defend silly petty things that people might you know take time out of their day to actually comment on it's not happening that's on whoever it is that has time to do that these are done as a labor of love Silly this man. is a pay it forward thing this isn't we're not getting anything from this there's no money involved they're not sponsored this is just information that I wish I had when I was dealing with my mom almost 19 years ago and counting right like these because nobody's talking about it nobody knows what it is so I'm gonna start also I'm doing this another thing on the side but like I'm gonna start doing a little bit maybe more educational ones where I'm explaining what dementia is because people still don't know guess what I got a box of hair clips with your name on it would you stop it I do I got them on all colors you get rid their comments are like you know they're not <laughs> constructive comments so you didn't bring your hair clip yeah well okay you need to get with it, girl. It's 2019. All right. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Like... Well, uh, it's 2019. I don't use a hair clip. Like, it's not 1961. Should we get scrunchies, too? Or should we bring no the scrunchie banana back? Clips. Let's bring the scrunchie back. No, let's bring those banana clips back. No, because they never... It was busting my hair. I can never get them closed. The scrunchie, though, that would work in my little poof. I'll get you See, some clips. See, it's so I'll un Alzheimer related. I'll rock the scrunchie. But that's some of the comments. You rock the clip. Some I'll of rock the comments the are what? You're oh, we're we're comedians. Yeah, we're, we're joking not around. Serious we're enough. not serious enough. Mm -hmm. I don't think people understand that. I I've, I've gone through don't serious defend depression. It. Don't defend it. For years, I was on antidepressants because Karen, of this disease. Don't defend it. I don't think anything's funny about it. Don't defend it. And don't when we're joking it. around, it's because we have to. And I'm not going to answer to anybody who I don't know or who has a a bad opinion or a negative opinion on something that has nothing to do with the topic at hand keep it to yourself that's just what it is you don't like it keep scrolling you don't have to, yeah, watch. You don't have to watch you don't have to like it we're okay with that it's not gonna be a big deal so for the people that have supported us and have you know kept it really positive and Thank share you. and comment Thank we you. do appreciate you all we see you all and it does not go unnoticed for all the rest kick a rock and I mean that. I mean that for the bottom yeah. or the top of my left heart. My left heart. Is that what you say? I don't have a right heart, but I have a left heart. If that's not serious enough for you. Well, what do you... What? I'm just... I'm just... I can't. I'm, not, right. the, I'm not the right person for this type of stuff. So this is why when you tell me to take a look, I'm like, mm, -mm. She has time to be all nice. Well, I don't. Well, it's not time to be nice. I, I just maybe, maybe, you know... Ignorance sometimes comes from being educated, right? So, well, all the time. So I'm educating. Like, I'm educating. Like, no, it, you can't just watch. We have 60. We announced it. There's 60 episodes. So you can't come in on the 58th episode and start making comments that are not constructive considering you weren't here from the beginning. So Shh, and just so you maybe know. Maybe watch. She's been doing that hair thing since episode one. Was I? Yes, that's your thing. I love no, it. No, I, I think it just goes in my eyes. So the, a natural reaction when your hair goes in I, your you eye know, I'm totally is you don't fine. just sit there and just wait why till your we, eyes start why watering. Even, why are we even talking like, about this? Why are you crying? I'm not. My hair's in my eye. I can't even believe we're wasting time on okay, this. Okay, anyways. All right, great. We're going to keep it short. Bye. You guys, as usual, thank you. We appreciate you all. Let us know if there's anything that you want to talk about uh, Alzheimer related you know, like, share, comment, don't like, don't share, don't comment, whatever. Again. But sharing, okay, I'll give you one thing. If you share this, it might not, maybe it doesn't even affect you, but you might know somebody. You have to, it's like one in three people are going to be affected by this disease. So there, somebody might go, wow, you know, I didn't know that or, you know, that made my day. We get a lot of positive comments about, you know, keeping it light because somebody might, if you're in the caregiving role and probably these people that are are like actually commenting aren't which a lot of people like laughing you need to laugh I know it's it's not taboo it's not frowned upon pun intended to to like actually laugh in a day and make light of a situation because if you don't you will go crazy mm -hmm. and it sounds like my 
baby's going crazy, so we're gonna go because I have to feed the newborn. You guys be and well. And maybe we are comedians. How do you know? Be well. How do you know? That could Laugh be, a little. That could be our next. Don't sweat the small gig. stuff. Have a great week. We will see and you next week. And laugh, laugh. Life's already serious enough, so take moments to find something funny. It's the best medicine. You heard Listen, it. love. You heard we it love you. Bye.